We have a shot over your shoulders, so you're going to need to keep these for you. Oh, sure. Okay. And we right. doing eye <laughs> There's a lot of directing going on around I here, know, Catherine. I know. Mine doesn't know what's going on. Action. to be with a filmmaking collective that doesn't happen that often that you have three kind of creative people that that get on <laughs> right <laughs> well that's not gonna happen yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's anything about it. <laughs> plenty of debates yeah. what is it about you know you guys are known for blending you know comedy and horror and adventure what is it about that kind of dynamic uh, that um, you know makes a script or a story really compelling for you? It's just what we've always been drawn to since we started working together. It was like, how can we make something that excites us, that we're into? And for us, it's always been good characters, ill-equipped to go through some wackadoo adventure, you know? And I mean, I feel like we've taken that with us over the last decade. Now, Grace, the lead of this film is really the whole film would live and die by her performance, and you chose an Aussie. We're very excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about her that you thought was so perfect for this character? I, uh, in our very first conversations with her, and obviously having been fans of her her other work, the thing that just jumped out immediately was her ability to be incredibly vulnerable and emotional at, at the same time. Uh, as she's incredibly physically capable and funny, and there was just honestly, Strong. she is she is the perfect mix, sort of Vulnerable. tonally, of what we love about all the movies that we love. She does all of that stuff so mm -hmm. capably and and so believably. I think at the end of the day, what she brought to Grace um, is really what grounds the entire movie. You you believe yeah, she so carries wholeheartedly us through it. Right. In, in what she's going through uh, that. All of the fun and all of the terror and all of the laughs and all of the adventure is allowed to exist because you're experiencing it through her through her eyes. And Samara really brought a punk rock vibe to it too, you know, with like her tattoos that she had that we, you know, highlighted the, the chucks that we put on her through our wonderful costume designer Avery Pluis. And so she was like the perfect end to this like rebellion against the one percent. And she nailed it. She really did. Are we gonna see a lot of more more Australian actors in in upcoming films? Is this is this Hope so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to say, no, like, it worked. Yeah. I just think we should keep on doing yeah, it. We'll keep, yeah, we'll keep exactly. yeah. We're in. Yeah. I think I should be the we'll, we'll love to work with Samara again, for sure. <laughs> That's great. You're yeah. like, definitely her. Yeah, definitely Samara. So. Yeah, she'll have us. She can bring her friends. It'll be great. <laughs> the yeah. country in general is a bit of a stretch, but thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, you know, dealing with, you know, fitting, when you get married to someone, you really do marry the family as well. And this idea of kind of fitting in with the in-laws is taken to the extreme in this film. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I think that's present when you're marrying into a family. It's also being in the outsider of a group if you're going to high school or whatever that is. I think that that's um, the, the desire to be a it's part of relatable. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and the fear that you're not going to fit in or the, the fear that the, where you fit in isn't going to be a representation or of who you gonna are. Or that they're going to try to kill you. Right. They're going to try to yeah. kill you. There's a natural um, conflict there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I think whether whether it's on your wedding day or, or at some other point in your life, it's something that everybody experiences, the uncertainty of that. And that was just such a fun it's also, seed to grow this crazy yeah, story for all. Yeah, take it and make it your best day and turn it into your worst day. Mm -hmm. It was like just simple and exciting to us. That's so exciting. And talking about punk rock and music and all that, obviously that's so important to your background, uh, having a punk rock band. It's music is so central in this film. Tell me how you used it because I was like, I want to get this track. Like this is fabulous. Yeah, we. I mean, we spent a lot of time on the music, and I mean, the score is Brian Tyler, and he blew our minds with he's it. A you know, he's yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's like a genius, and we don't throw that yeah. word around like yeah, kind of laughing. Yeah, but genius. he's like a legitimate genius. <laughs> And then for like the needle drops, you know, we we really wanted something that at the beginning captured like the wholesome, the hope and the love, and then at the end was kind of like a middle finger. And so it was kind of finding a way to like go down the down the rabbit hole over the course of right. the movie. It's like a romance yeah. to independence too, which is kind of like the opposite totally. of like what normally yeah. you would think of. Like Anti-romance. Exactly. There was also a, a very conscious choice to make the music feel a little bit timeless mm -hmm. because this yeah. family's wealth has this timeless quality to it and it's existed for many, many generations. Um, there was a, it was a very conscious effort to not make it feel too too contemporary or too poppy. We loved the idea that there's a bit of a bit of all of that in the movie, but that it's not it doesn't date the movie in a in an interesting way. It feels it's like a nice it could sort of it. exist any anywhere or it's at like any the time. Blue jeans, white t-shirt of music. Right. <laughs>